Hello everyone, I'm Max Randolph, and as you, some of you know, I'm currently building a tree. Here, let me show you, let me show you. Okay, I'm currently, almost dropped it, almost dropped it. So, I'm currently building a giant tree sculpture that'll be around 12 feet tall. Now, as I'm working on the base, I had a curious discovery. So, let me catch you up to speed. So, when you cut a piece of steel, especially into something relatively round, or circular, I should say, as you cut, the heat expands the, the outside, right? And then it has to go in one direction or the other, and it creates a bowl, slightly. Now, when I cut this piece of steel out, you, the, this, the heat had to go in, in one direction or, or another. And, well, get a look at this. While it's sitting on top of this table, it glides with almost no friction. As the, so I find interesting stuff like this all the time, but I'm, I'm gonna try and document it more often. Now, okay, now, no, before I get ahead of myself, the friction that is happening at the center here of this kind of dished out 250 pound steel plate is overwhelmed by the amount of centrifugal energy. Give these out of here, give these out of here. But look, but look, I can get this thing absolutely cooking. And there's very, there's very little friction to it. Isn't that incredible? How fun is that? And we're only talking about like maybe an eighth of an inch over this four foot span. Oh, this is amazing. I feel like there's something to this because it's acting very similar to like a flywheel, right? Using centrifugal energy to continue its momentum. I'm no physicist. If you are a physicist or an engineer, so please tech, tech. You know, comment in the in the comment section of what's actually taking place here, but there's so little friction. Oh, and it's hard to stop. There's so little friction at the center that it feels like it wants to just go forever, almost like a top. This is incredible. And this is where I, I feel like I discover so many of my kind of eureka moments is, is moments like this playing around in the shop and feeling things. But I want to make it bigger. Because here, I have the exact copy that's going to go onto the concrete. I kind of want to pile up on top of here and make it a 500 pound flywheel. Let's see what happens. Okay, now I'm going to slap a little bit of oil under here just to make sure it's extra slick. All right, let's see here. Won't take much. Let's slap this other 250 pound plate on top of here to get a 500 pound flywheel. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. Whew. Ooh, listen to that. Whoa. I wish you guys can hear the resonance. We'll get to uh, re re resonance soon. Okay, here, let's take it. Let's get up here. Whoa. Ooh, yeah. All right. Ooh, it's a moment of truth. Okay, 500 pounds of steel. Ooh, doesn't really need to be lined up now, does it? Okay, all right, here we go. <laughs> that is cooking. Oh, now that's hard to stop. Man, I just feel see so much potential in here for like, a lot of the tools that I want to build. This is fascinating. I think it does better just as one plate. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah. It likes being one plate. Look at that. How incredible. This gets me back to like hit and misses and steam engines and things because it's easy to get it started but it's really difficult to stop. Let me see something else. Okay, I feel like I described it enough, as much as I can uh, without showing you what's actually happening. Uh, come here. Okay, so the whole frame itself is just on top of this little table that I use for layout and it's just gliding on top of that plate. How cool is that? So, there's many ways I feel like you can make this thing work. 
Imagine, imagine a mechanism going forward and backwards. Almost like a locomotive. Forward and backwards turns into circular motion. Or vice versa. Just forward and back. We can get this thing cooking. Oh, yeah, it's terrifying. A little bit terrifying. There we go. Oh! It's just stuff like this that gets me so wound up and it leads to ideas in the future. So for those of you out there that perhaps worry about wasting time or anything like that, waste your time and experiment, have fun, because you never know what it might lead to. Thanks for watching.